Welcome to Hygiena's instructional video on the proper use of Microsnap EB. In this video, we will cover product details, storage and shelf life, and how to properly enrich the sample and detect Enterobacteria ACA. Microsnap EB is a rapid bioluminogenic test for detection and enumeration of Enterobacteria ACA. Together, Microsnap EB and the Ensure Luminometer detect Enterobacteria ACA present in a sample. Test results are delivered in 15 seconds and are measured in relative light units, or RLUs. So the greater the amount of bacteria, the higher the RLU number and the higher the CFU count. Here are some important features about the product. The enrichment device contains proprietary growth media that enables low-level enumeration of EB bacteria. The detection device works just like chromogenic media, but instead of changing color, we illuminate the bacteria using a bioluminogenic test reaction. This reaction generates light when enzymes that are characteristic of EB react with specialized substrates. Results are available in 6 to 8 hours and can detect down to single figure organisms, enabling Microsnap to give same shift results. The luminometer uses a small yet robust internal sensor that objectively measures contamination so that you don't have to count colonies. This graph compares the time to results of low-level EB detection methods. On average, Microsnap produces results twice as fast as other available methods. By speeding up time to results, you can reduce potential risk by reacting to contamination and taking immediate corrective action for future production runs ensuring your customer always gets the best quality product. Microsnap EB should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Test devices have a shelf life of 12 months. Be sure to check the expiration date on the bag and swab label before use. The materials you will need include a dry block incubator capable of 37 degrees Celsius, a Microsnap EB enrichment device, detection device, the Ensure luminometer, a pipette and tips for one milliliter, and all required materials for product sample preparation. Let's get started. Microsnap is a two-step test. The first step is the enrichment step. Microsnap EB can be used to test environmental surfaces, product samples, water, and other filterable liquids. Write the location or product on the swab tube label for easy identification. Remove the swab from the enrichment device. For environmental samples, you may collect a sample just like you would with an ATP test. Swab by 4 by 4 inch square area, applying sufficient pressure to create flex in the swab shaft and rotating to collect sample on all sides of the swab tip. For irregular surfaces, ensure the swabbing technique remains consistent for each test and swab a large enough area to collect a representative sample. Replace the swab in the tube. For product samples, you may prepare a 10% dilution or add one milliliter of liquid food samples directly to the enrichment device. Replace the swab in the tube. Hold the device in your fist and use a thumb and forefinger to break the snap valve by bending the bulb forward and backward. Separate the swab from the tube about 1-2 to two inches from each other to relieve the internal pressure, and squeeze the bulb to flush out all the media. Shake the tube gently to mix the sample with the enrichment broth. Incubate the enrichment device at 37 degrees Celsius for 6-8 to eight hours, depending on the sensitivity required for your sample. Refer to the complete instructions for details. The second step is detection. Allow the detection device to acclimate to room temperature before testing. Write the location or product on the tube label for easy identification. Turn on the Ensure luminometer. If you program locations, select the location to be tested. Holding the tube upright, forcefully flick the device in a downward motion or tap on the palm of your hand five times. This will bring droplets of chemistry to the bottom of the tube. Twist and pull to remove the bulb from the detection device tube. Leave the bulb slightly ajar and set it aside. Separate the enrichment swab and use the built-in pipette to draw enriched sample into the bulb. With one hand, carefully grab the detection device bulb with your thumb and forefinger. 
Then, using your forefinger and middle finger, grab the detection device tube. Using your other hand, transfer the enriched sample from the enrichment device to the detection device. The detection device has a fill line marked on the bottom of the tube. Fill to this line. Avoid adding excess sample above the line, as this can increase variation of test results. The remaining enrichment sample may be returned to the incubator for additional testing. Replace the bulb on the detection device. Hold the device in your fist and use the thumb and forefinger to break the snap valve by bending the bulb forward and backward. Squeeze the bulb three times to expel all liquid into the tube and shake gently to mix. Immediately insert the detection device into the luminometer, close the lid, and holding the unit upright, press OK to initiate measurement. Results will be displayed in 15 seconds. For interpretation of results, refer to the tables in the instructions to determine the equivalent CFU levels detected by Microsnap. To properly dispose of Microsnap, disinfect the devices by autoclaving or soaking in 20% bleach for one hour. Microsnap may then be safely discarded in the trash.